Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Living a Little. If you don't know me, I'm Aditya Chaudhary. I'm living here in Ireland from past three years and I create videos for international students about life here and the courses information as well as I'm working here. So I share my life experiences here in Ireland for you all. So today in this video, we are going to talk about MS in Business Analytics at Dublin Business School, that is DBS College. And many of you have reached out to me for this particular course. So this video is divided into two parts. The first part would be a dedicated video on the course content about DBS and the course structure and the faculties and what are the modules you would be studying and the fees. The second module will be a dedication on MS in Business Analytics here in Ireland. So now you must be wondering why am I creating this video? I completed my master's in data analytics, then why business analytics? So there are two reasons. Firstly, I have personally researched on business analytics because I was preparing for my master's. I was confused between these two courses, data analytics and business analytics. So I have an understanding of both the courses. Secondly, I have studied at DPS. I know the course module for both of these. I know the course module for both the master's degrees and the course module there were few modules which were quite similar and i was personally talking to a lot of people who have who have been studying business analytics as well so i guess i would be able to share a lot of information with you all which would help you to choose or not choose this particular course at dublin business school so let's get started <music> end goal for a business analyst would be to find the right data dig some insight based on the business requirement or the company's performance so that the decision makers could make decisions based on the insights you have gained from that particular data and you know it is very challenging to deal with data that is why the business analyst come into place so this course uh, would deal with various knowledge of statistics programming and business industries knowledge as well so let's move on to the course content so for the course DBS. fees is 13,800. When we applied for these courses, the course fees was 12,500 and almost everybody receives 1,000 scholarship. So I'm assuming your course fee would be around 12,800 to 13,000. I'm dropping a link to the college website. So if the price or the fees varies, you can always look out to that. Next, coming to your course content. You would have three semesters, semester one, two, and three. Your semester three is thesis dissertation where would you would do some sort of research. The first semester would have four modules, requirement analysis, programming for analytics, applied statistics and machine learning business strategy. So let's talk a bit about these modules. The requirement analysis, this particular module is will help you develop skills that is required within the business to connect the business and the stakeholders objective. You would work on this various user stories, you would document, uh, you would focus on documenting business requirement, create user stories, manage and analyze these objectives so that you can work with, you can work with the enterprise analysis that the scope and the problem statements are aligning with the business requirement. This course would focus on planning skills. It would help you to cover business analytics essentials so that you can create a comprehensive business analysis plan. At the end of this module, you will be able to analyze the impact stakeholders to enable more effective business analysis. So there are no tools involved. You just gather this business requirement and understand how business work and create stories into that. The second module is programming for analytics. So it is a very basic understanding of programming. So you would be working into Python. If you don't have prior knowledge, don't worry. This course is focused on firstly introducing the basics of Python and then you would work on few machine learning and analytics projects wherein you will be running various uh, various analytics using Python packages and also some modeling through machine learning as well. So if you don't have a prior understanding of Python, that's fine, but it is always good if you want to focus because it is just a one year master's degree. If you focus more on your project, I would suggest just learn basics of Python. And the next module will be applied statistics and machine learning. This is like an extend, extended version for the previous module, which is programming using Python. So here you will learn basics of statistics, statistics, sampling and hypothesis testing, how you can use statistics to do the data analytics. So like, like you can create user stories, you can run some sale revenues analysis, like based on the previous sales, what have been generated, you can know what future you can predict. 
so so statistics is really important basic understanding would have help you know the mathematics behind so that you can you can learn various machine learning models when you have extracted some data and to gain some insights and run some predictions so th there comes statistics into picture so if you do not have a prior understanding of basic of statistics i would request you to learn statistics also i have created a dedicated reel how to learn basics for business analytics and data analytics you can head on to my instagram if you're not on instagram comment below i will create a list on what you should run prior to start your master's degree either in business or data analytics while working on this particular module you might work on few few art programming projects wherein you will learn you you would run statistical analysis so dig more into mathematics of statistics and combine machine learning and statistical knowledge to run the predictions when you create these machine learning models like linear regression logistic regression xg boost if these are new terms for you these are all the machine learning techniques we use to run on a particular data that was all about this module next come is business strategy in business strategy you particularly analyze what are the steps to be followed when you are running through a business requirement you would learn how you you would learn how to know about the weaknesses and pros and cons about a particular business and you would run some SWOT analysis also and this module would cover both the dynamics and the global aspect of strategic development so you will learn how to evaluate industry evolution build and sustain competitive sustain competitive analysis for building a business strategy Project management would focus more on the creation of the projects how to deliver it when to deliver it uh, when to deliver it to meet the objective of a particular business requirement so this would be like you need to understand the requirement of the stakeholder and define the characteristics required for the solution to meet those needs and when how soon you can resolve those strategies and requirements so it's like delivering a particular projects how much time you're going to take how would you take it to the further dream within the technical organization or not this does not involve any toolkit but yes developing a business strategies to work on a particular project so next come is finance next module is financial and business analytics uh, even if you're not from a finance background don't worry this this is a very basic understanding of finance and running those analytics using some uh, tools like tableau and power bi so this course is mostly focused on tableau you would run some analysis on stock you would run some finance stock you would run some uh, you would run some data insight you so the next module is the data mining so data mining is the process of getting data from the raw data and you would extract some information from various data sources and convert those into business information and the requirement so you could use various tools like rapid minor tool to extract the data and convert it into business requirement you could also run some data cleaning or data extraction based on what a particular business is looking for while dealing with those data it's more really like pull out the information from the data sets you have at the moment so you might work across various data source like and also while working with the data source you might need to learn sql also so the next module is business intelligence and visualizations so business intelligence and visualization you will be working on the tool called tableau that is what it came when we were doing the master degree you might come across power bi but don't worry it will be basic and it will it is a course from basic to advanced level so first you will learn the basics of tableau visualization how you run dashboards and how you work with the tableau toolkit and then you will move to the advanced level projects wherein you either work as an individual or group projects wherein you will take some insight from a data from data and you could picture some great results like sales revenue and based on the previous past history how you can generate a user story it about the course module you would be studying and to know if this course is for the fresher and the experience i would say even if you are a fresher and starting your and at the early age of your career you could still choose this course the basic understanding i would say the basic understanding of programming is the added benefit even if you don't have you would run throughout your course but i would say focus more on statistical and business understanding to help you cope up with this particular course and the next one is research proposal which is more like which is more like you would be creating a proposal for the research which would you would be doing in your third semester your, your research can be business focused as well it could be a machine learning project it totally depends on your interest most of the people they work they work on some financial stock analysis projects like you know that aligns business as well as data 
so just work, create a proposal and don't worry even if you have created a proposal and you think you're not able to cope up with what you have actually proposed while doing the research you can still change it in the third semester at the early stage so make sure while you're working into dissertation or thesis this is the most crucial time for your master's degree and most of the people they sometimes fail to do so because they sometimes choose a very difficult projects based on thinking that they might be able to do it but don't worry I, you can choose a normal research you can choose a normal research objective but starting to the ending it is your very own research and you're gaining some insight and you you will be assigned a professor for your research you will he will be able to help you with all these questions i hope i answered most of the part about this particular course at dublin business school if you still have any questions you can comment below and if you i have seen a lot of you have asked me emailed me to schedule a call the link to schedule a call is in the description below feel free to fill the form and i will help you answer most of your questions about job opportunities and this course and anything anything you want to know about here in ireland and talking about the job opportunities talking about how this particular field is booming i am creating a part two of the video if you want to see the part two comment below i'll create the part two as soon as possible and guys as i always say i always announce or give some tips at the end of the videos so when you choose a master degree here in ireland so you would get some tax credit back when you are registering here as a master degree so you would receive 800 800 euros as a tax credit in your bank uh, you would receive 800 tax credit in your revenue account which is like when you start doing a job here you would be paying some less tax so that is also something which is worth considering while choosing your master's degree here in ireland so if you want any detailed videos on any particular course do let me know i'll do my own research and create a dedicated video for you all and let me know in the comment section how do you feel about this video and if i missed on any information guys please comment below and help each other and 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 i have seen not many of you have joined the discord channel please go join the discord channel the link to the discord is in the description below and i'll help you to answer all of your questions see you guys in the next video till then take care bye and i will be posting some details about this course at dbs into my discord channel that this will be more like a detail about this course modules and what's the preparation you could do prior your masters since it's a one year course it would be a fast paced course i don't want to miss you on any opportunities or anything which might lead you to discourage or you know you would feel like why am i doing this course it's so difficult i will try my best to post these details on discord if you want you can do it See you guys in the next video.